Today in this video, I would like to share how we can wire inductive proximity sensor with a 12 volt relay and output for AC light bulb. So I'm using this is 12 volt AC to DC power supply here, and uh, let me turn off the power first. So this is a power supply which is 12 volt. So the input is 110 or 220 volt AC, and the output is 12 volt, 3 ampere. So you can be using either is 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere. That does not matter how many uh, ampere you are using because this output is to make it on for the sensor and to make it turn on for the relay. So the consumption current will not be required the high ampere. So this is very fine that you can use a 1 ampere, 2 ampere or 3 ampere, 4 ampere, 5 ampere. 6 ampere or 10 ampere any ampere you can use to make it work for the sensor and the relay because the load is we get from the AC right so this is a 12 volt power supply and here is a live and a neutral from the input I'm not using the ground so if you're using 3 wire then uh, you might need to use the ground wire here I didn't use so this is make it empty so life and neutral. So life and the neutral from the input power source, and uh, this is inductive proximity sensor which will detect a matter. And this is NPN. There's a three wire. Three wire they we indicate in the body here. BN is a stand for brown. A black is a signal and the blue is a negative so brown is a positive positive output positive travel and blue is a negative negative here and black is the sensor the signal so black wire from the sensor directly we connect to relay pin number 13 which is for the negative and from pin number 14, uh, we're going to take power 12 volt uh, from the power supply here. So this is 12 volt positive and from the sensor signal. And of course, the relay must be 12 volt because we are using 12 volt power supply and then the sensor also 12 volt. Because the sensor working range is between 6 to 36 volt. So you can use 12 volt. And here's the output. So the output, we are using 240 volt light bar AC here. So the output, this is live. Live, we going to pin number 12, which is common. And out from normally open pin number 8. Here's pin number 8. And we connect to light bar here right and the neutral directly come from here and directly we connect to AC light bar so the wire wire need to screw properly alright so I hope you clear the wiring diagram and let me turn on the power So once you already power power on the switch and the power supply is already turning on. Alright, so here is the 12 volt. So uh, let me check the sensor. So these things you can use not only the inductive proximity sensor, you can use capacitive proximity sensor as well. So once the sensor is detected, 
accident the relay is turned on and once the relay is the coin is supplied and the light the loop will be turned on the idea that you will use the relay is the sensor will give the signal to the relay then the relay will turn on and the relay we have the output to have a two output so uh, I just use from one side here only a pin number 12 12 in 8 out and the neutral directly will connect here and if you use another light you can use from here 12 in you can take the loop from here and a pin number 9 here which is common as also and out from pin number 5 and you can have another output so this relay we handle for 5 ampere so that means you can use uh, the high power loops you can use high power motor or any appliance but only you can use 5 ampere alright so uh, let me turn it off first if you want to drive aircon or the freezer you might need to use contactor so which is a very high ampere so this contactor we have a four output here here's in here's out and of course we need to check it this is 240 volt we have to make it sure and here is a written on the body here this is 230 volt AC so uh, we're gonna replace from the light output we're gonna replace to the contactor to have extra output so this live and neutral we just remove from the light here and from the contactor is the A1 and A2 make sure you turn off the light make sure you turn off the power So here is A2 in and the other side A1. This is to, to make it on for the contactor. So instead of using one light bulb, we can use contactor to make it on. So once the contactor is on, then you can have a 4 output from here. And of course, the ampere will be much more higher than relay. Alright, so uh, let's check. I think you, I hope you can see this. So let us turn on the power switch again. And the power supply is turning on, and the sensor. All right, so here we go. We have a contactor here. Once the sensor is the detect from here, and from the sensor, they will give the signal to make it turn on for the relay. So once the relay is turning on, and from the output from the relay we make it turn off for the contactor so my sensor is no. right so the sensor that we have a four output so you can make it uh, you can control from this contactor you can control ear core or you can control the exhaust fan or chiller or the freeze any height power loops Alright, so this is how you can wire, sensor, a relay, and a contactor.
right? I hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video.